Hey guys, it's Sierra and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to jump right in with some fall content, some fall fashion videos. I took a few days off from uploading because I got sick with strep throat. So if my voice sounds a little bit raspy in this video, that's why, but I'm finally feeling good enough to film. So I'm excited. Let's jump into it. I really love making these videos where I take the camera with me inside the dressing room and show you guys like what works, but also what doesn't and what doesn't fit my figure. I have an in-between body type. I'm like a size 10 or a size 12. So I kind of fall into that middle ground. And a lot of the times clothes don't fit me right. So when I do a haul, you guys only get to see what works and not really kind of a realistic view of what it's like when I go shopping. So these videos give you a little bit more of that like a real life insight on what shopping is like for me. And then I also get to show you guys why things worked and why things didn't on my figure. If you guys saw my video from last Tuesday, it was all about how to style jeans on a curvy body. I obviously got a bunch of new jeans from American Eagle for that video. So with my fall shopping for 2018, I wasn't really looking for jeans because I'm totally stocked up on those. What I really wanted to find were some great sweaters, a couple skirts, and tops that I can pair with different layering options to create different outfits. So more stuff on the top, couple skirts, but uh, for jeans, go check out that video. The first place I went was Free People, and I really like the style of Free People, but it is a little bit more on the expensive side, so I'm really, really picky with the clothes that I get there. The first item I pulled was this big oversized turtleneck sweater. I pulled it in two colors, this gray and this burnt orange color. I got this sweater in a size large. I'm almost always a large at Free People, pretty standardly, but it's a very oversized big fit. Overall, this sweater was super comfy, and I usually do like that oversized look, even though it's not the most flattering on a curvy figure. Not everything that I wear has to, you know, like hit all the contours on my body. Like it's okay to just be comfy sometimes. So even though I usually do like that look, this sweater was just a no. For me, it was just a little bit too oversized. It really looked like I was just wearing a big tent and the sleeves were so long that I know I'd be constantly fidgeting with them and just pulling them up. Next thing I tried on was this brown suede skirt in a size 12. And this skirt was actually recommended to me by the sales associate. She was like, girl, you have to try this one. It's so cute. It's so flattering. So I did. And I also grabbed this random bodysuit just to try it on. Not really something I'm interested in actually buying. It was a little bit too boobalicious, a little bit too low cut for me. So I'm a big fan of the color of this skirt and the overall idea of it. I really wanted to love it, but I just don't think it was right for me. I'm more of a fan of the A-line look where it's fitted on the waist and then flares out than that tight fitted mini skirt look that this skirt has. But I definitely wanted to find a skirt like this, just a little bit more fitted to my comfort level. So I kept an eye out for this style at other stores throughout the day. And I think I found something later that you guys are gonna like. The last thing I tried on was this really cute fall dress in a size 10. I love the fit and flare design of this dress, but I would definitely need an undershirt. I'm not comfortable with the amount of cleavage that I was showing when I tried this on. Anyways, this dress has a tie right at my natural waist, which makes it so flattering on my figure while still keeping that really flowy fall loose look. I could totally see myself pairing this with like black tights and little ankle boots for a perfect fall look. It was a yes. The next place I went was Anthropology, and I actually only found one thing to try on. It was this really cute pair of fall palazzo pants. I love flowy high-waisted pants like this for the summer and spring, and so finding them in this dark green color, I thought they'd be perfect for fall looks. I love the look of these pants, and the color is super awesome. The waist also was elastic, so it had a little bit more stretch to it, and the pants overall seemed like they might be a little bit big. Like, these were supposed to be ankle length, but they were basically floor length for me because I'm a little bit short and they were a little bit big on me. So I decided to size down and try the medium. Also, I just had some extra room in the legs anyways. So I was like, might as well try the medium. And if not, the large still looks pretty good. But the medium fit me even better. Because of that elastic waist, it still wasn't too tight on my waist. It had some stretch, but the legs fit me much better. And the length looked a lot a lot more like it was supposed to. Also, the buttons on the front didn't pull. They still laid flat, so I knew that the medium was the right size for me, and I decided to get them. It was a yes. Next, I hit up Loft, and Loft is a little bit more of like an older feel, an older demographic than I am. So I don't shop there a lot, but when I want items that are a little bit more mature, a little bit more conservative, you know, like 
a little bit more put together than that like teenage style. I'll try loft and uh, I did find something really, really cute there. This brown faux leather skirt is perfect for me. I tried it on in a size 10 and it really just fit every aspect of my curves. This is exactly what I wanted out of that free people skirt, but it just fit me a lot better. It flattered my waist, but it was long enough for me to be comfortable in it. And it had that A-line structure. So it was much looser in the legs. And I felt like I could really move around in this. I could dress this up or dress it down. And I just can't wait to like hit the streets of New York when I go in October in this skirt. I just, I love this piece. I also grabbed this black chiffon shirt in a large to try on with the skirt. I really like the way the shirt looked paired with the skirt, but I think I can do better. Like the shirt isn't super unique or anything. It's cute, it fits me well, but I'm not really a fan of the rolled up sleeves. I always fidget with things like that. So I'd rather find one that has like elastic sleeves or short sleeves in a similar style. Next up was Madewell, one of my favorite stores. And the first thing I tried on was this slouchy brown cardigan in a large. I love how comfortable and soft this cardigan is. And the color is also just great for fall and for layering. Also a great plus, this cardigan is long enough to cover my butt. So I feel like I could wear it just with leggings and a t-shirt and I'd have enough coverage. There's really not much else to say about this cardigan. I just love things like this for layering. And this was like the perfect one, soft comfortable, can layer with a bunch of different t-shirts to create different fall looks. So it was a yes. I also just grabbed this black Madewell tee to try on with the cardigan to get that layered look. And I just love the Madewell t-shirts. They fit my body so well. So even though I really just grabbed it to try it on with the cardigan, I decided to get it anyways, because I actually don't think I have a black Madewell v-neck. I have a gray one, but I wanted a black one. It looked good. So I got it. Next up was this striped sweater. After the failure of the sweaters at Free People, I wanted to give it another go, and this one looked pretty good on me. It was really soft and comfy, and even though it was a little bit loose and baggy, like most sweaters are, it was kind of cropped, and it showed my hips a little bit more, so it did flatter my figure in a way. I really liked that rainbow pattern, but I actually just got a cardigan in that rainbow print from American Eagle that you guys saw in my last video. So I decided to pass because it was kind of expensive, and and even though I liked it, I didn't love it. Next up was this yellow embroidered shirt, which was kind of the first thing in this video that was a hard no from the beginning. This did not work at all for me. I really love the color and the embroidery, and there's a lot of different things you can do with button front shirts, but this one just looked terrible on me, honestly. It was just an awkward fit on me. It wasn't flattering, and I don't know why, but it kind of makes me look like a cowboy. Is that weird? I also tried on this orange long sleeve wrap style shirt. And I usually love wrap style shirts, especially from Madewell because they're really flattering. But this one just wasn't. It just wasn't great. It wasn't for me. The fit was a little bit weird. The fabric was scratchy and uncomfortable. I just didn't like it. So even though I liked the idea of it, it definitely did not work once I got inside the dressing room. But when I was on my way to the register with the things I was going to get, I saw this orange wrap style sweater that was like the same idea as the shirt, but it was, it looked a little bit different. So I decided to try it. And oh my gosh, am I glad I did because this sweater was everything that I wanted the striped sweater and the orange wrap shirt to be combined. I love this burnt orange color for fall. The wrap style design really flatters my tummy and it's fitted at the bottom. So it defines my hips more than a normal sweater would. Other than that bottom part though, it's not tight anywhere else. So it still gives that really cozy slouchy look that I love for fall. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't say any of the sizes from Madewell, but it's fine because literally everything that I tried on from Madewell was a large. So there you go. Okay, so that was my first day of shopping. And like I said, I have been feeling pretty sick. So I intended to hit up that mall and another mall in the same day. But uh, yeah, your girl was not feeling too hot. So I went home and hit up the other mall the next day. So uh, on my second day of shopping, I went to Express. And the first thing I saw when I walked in were these V-neck kind of slouchy sweater style shirts that were a little bit longer. So I grabbed one in tan and one in green. Now these shirts 
definitely aren't like high fashion pieces that I'm gonna wear on the days that I wanna like strut down the city streets. But realistically, these are the kind of shirts that I'm gonna wear most often in the fall. So they're definitely worth buying because uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. They're also longer in the back, so I could totally wear them with leggings and feel like I'm plenty covered. They're loose fitting, but not shapeless. So these were a yes in both colors. Like I said, not like that like pinnacle piece that makes me feel like I'm just like working my curves, but something that makes me feel comfortable and confident that I will probably end up wearing like every day in the fall. Next, I tried on this green cardigan, also in a large, and this was a really similar look and fit to the one that I got at Madewell, but it was a lot lighter fabric. So I think this cardigan would be perfect for days when I want that fall layered look, but I don't need the warmth. I live in Southern California, so it's not exactly like 20 degrees outside or anything. I'll probably be wearing this a lot with different t-shirts for layering looks, so it was a yes, perfect for fall. Next up, I tried on this gray, chunky, kind of corded sweater in a large. Now, I originally was drawn to this item when it was on the rack because it was that thick, corded, cozy look, but it was cropped, which I usually like because it gives more definition to my waist and doesn't make me look like I'm being swallowed up by a bunch of material. But the sweater was still a no because the sleeves were just too long. I don't know what it is with that like really oversized sleeves look, but it just kind of bothers me. I, I, I always fidget with it, so this one was a no. The next place I went was American Eagle, and usually in the fall, I would be looking to stock up on some new jeans from American Eagle, but like I said in last week's video, I just got a bunch of new pairs, so uh, yeah, didn't need any jeans, but I did find some other cute stuff. I really wanted to find a fall jumpsuit, and every store that I went to before this, I had my eyes open, but all the cute ones that I found were floor length, and I really need capri length jumpsuits. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get them tailored, they're gonna drag on the floor, they just, they just don't work for me because I'm too short and too chubby. But when I got to American Eagle, I was immediately drawn to this orange jumpsuit and I tried it on in a large. I really love the fit of this jumpsuit. The tie at the waist helps to flatter my figure and the little pockets on the side were just really cute. The color was great. I wasn't super crazy about the embroidery though. It seems like it might be a little bit too much for me. It was all over the sleeves and the center and I think there was even some in the pockets. But like I said, the fit was so cute and it wasn't like the embroidery was over the top. I just, I wasn't I wasn't sure if it was like perfect for me. So I went back and forth on this for so long. I probably stayed in this jumpsuit for like 10 minutes just being like, I'm gonna get it, I'm not gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And eventually I decided not to get it because it just wasn't perfect and I'm trying to be a little bit more selective with the pieces that I get. But now looking back at this footage, I'm like maybe I should have gotten it. It looks real cute on me. So I don't know, let me know down in the comments. Would you have gotten it? Should I have gotten it? I don't know. Next thing I tried on was this green military jacket in a large, and as soon as I put it on, I knew it was a perfect fit. I used to have a jacket like this from Guess, but I lost it two years ago, and I haven't been able to find one that was that perfect since then, but this is it. It's big enough that I can zip it all the way up, but it's not too baggy, not too oversized. The sleeves are the right length. It's soft and cozy, but not too thick for California winter. It covers my butt so I could even wear it with leggings and even as a hood for the rain. This is just my perfect jacket. I'm probably gonna wear this like every day. The last thing that I tried on, thank goodness, because my throat is dying. The last thing I tried on were these flannels and American Eagle flannels are just my favorite. You can wear them normal like a shirt or tied around your waist to add some definition. They're long enough to give coverage to the booty, but not shapeless. They have those little slits on the side at the hips that help to, to show off my figure a little bit more. Also, the buttons don't pull on my chest, which is really difficult for me to find without getting one that's like super over oversized. So I pretty much already knew that I was going to get at least one new flannel, but I wanted to try it on anyways to make sure I was the same size as I was last year. And I was the large fit perfect. So I decided that the red one was a yes, but not the blue one because I already got this blue flannel from Abercrombie and Fitch in my back to school haul. This one's a little bit more lightweight, whereas the one that I got from American Eagle is thicker. It's softer. It's cozier. So two different flannels for two different styles and two different looks and two different feels, but I really like that one.
Woo! So that is gonna be it for my Inside the Dressing Room haul for fall 2018. This might be my longest Inside the Dressing Room video ever. I did a lot of shopping. Also, great job, Sierra, doing your longest Inside the Dressing Room video when your throat is dead from strep. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry you had to deal with my raspiness. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new, join the family, and I will put a card right up there for my Inside the Dressing Room playlist if you wanna see more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Bye throat is dying and I'll see you next time. Bye!